Hello and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, part 110. I opened up all my amiibos, got absolutely nothing worth talking about, so we will just be moving right along from there. Can delete that. Guess we'll go try to get that fishing spot back, since I could probably glide most of the way from here. I also wonder if I have... Yeah, I do. So ride that on up. I'm assuming that's the fishing spot in question. That seems to make sense. It also looks like there's a path up to that mountain, but... I don't really know where that's supposed to be. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, there's Farosh. Where are you going, guy? Any chance you want to swoop on over this way so that I can nab a bit of your scale? I feel like it's also... Yeah, it's morning. Farosh is probably on their way out. Hey, look, there's a Korok. Great. Rain. Why not? Come this way, Farish. Where are you going? Get out of your choo choo's. I don't want any part of you. And now we just wasted time because now I gotta walk all the way back there. Oh, so you actually get two corks from this. Or not. Come out, little Koroks. I want to meet you. I'm assuming this is what you're supposed to do. It seems weird to me that that other circle is over there and there's no, like, Korok there as well. Maybe it's just, no. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. I think it was actually supposed to go in the middle. Well, it definitely looks like there's a gap there. I don't know. So then what's the deal with this? What dis? Dis something or dis nothing? I guess dis nothing. Alright. So let's go take back their fishing spot. For the lovely villagers. Keep trying to lock my phone so that the battery doesn't die while I'm keeping track of time. Oh, you know what? I was over here at some point and I decided not to fight them. And now I'm here anyway. Isn't the world just funny the way it works? Yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm sure this will all work itself out. We'll figure out how to do it. Alright, so let's see. We will glide on in, right on in here. Huh? Shoot that dummy. You know what I could do? Before they see me, I could throw on the hood. And then they won't shoot at me. So now I can come right on in. Right? We're friends. Yeah, we're all buddies. We're all just little little bokoblins. Hanging out together. Having fun. I mean, villagers? Yum. I'll eat those villagers for breakfast. Don't tell me about how tasty you think villagers are. I think villagers are the tastiest. Hey, guy. Hey, what's up, man? Get out of here. Does no one else notice them? Oh no, they totally know. So I guess we should switch back. Whoops. Someone's throwing rocks at me. Alright, so I'll climb right on up here. Oh hey there, dude. And we will probably kill him with that. Yep. Alright. That guy's out of the way. Put that. Boko Club? I don't care about no Boko Clubs. Shoot that guy. Get him out of the way. What up, man? Nope. Why don't you just head on down in the ocean there? Hello. Can I help you? Oh. Ow. Aw, oh, look at you doing a quarter heart of damage. How cute. Alright, so now we will head on down. I'll just shoot that guy with the wall. Is that it? Are we done? I guess we're not done. There must be more. Hello? Well, that stunk. Oh, there's one. He's up there. Question How do I get. Oh, 
I guess I could just swing to that island and use Revali's Gale to fly up there. That's always an option. Will that give me away? I feel like it will. That sent me really high. I was gonna say, please tell me Revali's Gale is still active. Check the objective now. Go tell Sebasto the good news. Do I want more? Yeah, I do. This will put it on cooldown for me, so now I can start that cooldown right off the bat and not have to worry about it being like having one charge or two charges I'll be used later. Hey, an item I can't carry and don't want anyway. So let's go on back to the town. Let's turn in this quest. And Weed's back at the village. Let's go tell Sevastabo, or whatever his name was. It just makes me think of Sevastopol, which is from Alien Isolation, I think it is. I think that's what it's from. I'm gonna try to land on this guy, just to. Nah, that's a cow anyway. It's not even a bull. Hatano cow? We're not in Hatano. Weird. We're at the Loreland village. Can I do anything with them? Can I milk them? Doesn't seem that way. So, where was that family? They were, like, eating lunch. Up slightly higher than everyone else, as I recall. Oh, maybe it's over there. Now, really, all you need to do... Yeah, okay. Let's see, he's over this way. Oh, is this you? Yeah, it is. Hey, you took care of the monsters at Eris Beach. It's been too long since I had a fish from those waters. Thanks, mate. I suppose I should give this to you to show appreciation. hundred bucks? <laughs> Come back whatever you'd like. I'll share the day's haul with you. Cool. Alright, so that's completed. Party blue shell snail. Uh, increases maximum hearts. Nice. Okay, so now... We can head off towards Hebra and start doing some of the shrines in that section of the world. I wanted to mention before that uh, the name of that beach was Eris, like the cat from VG Cats. I think it's spelled differently. Like, I think the VG Cats Eris is spelled A E R A S, whereas this beach is just A R A S. But whatever, details, who cares? Alright, let's see what we've got here. Steady thy heart. Now. You may have noticed that there were quite a few Korok seeds marked on the map uh, here in Hebra. But uh, they're all, like, annoying to get to. So I probably wouldn't, like, actively go get them in a part. I guess I'll show where they are at some point, but, like, am I supposed to, like... No. That doesn't feel right. Supposed to stasis? Oh, okay. No. Ugh, goodness gracious. I was gonna say, I really don't want to make the whole thing. Hello there, everybody. How you doing? Yeah, don't even think about it. You're not doing that. These two. Take out a couple of ice arrows. I can't stand here. Well, that's fine then. Nag up, nab up all their bits. Especially now that these guys, I could sell their parts for Mon. It's kind of like, why wouldn't I try? There's a way to make it so that I go straight under me. I guess I can just do this. But since I have my HUD turned off, I don't know how. Get some bomb arrows for me. Head on over here. 
I haven't used Karanus in a while. Like, I feel like this is the first time I've used Karanus in, like, 20 parts or so. I feel like it's all about stasis bombs and magnesis this game. So, oh. What was the point of that second button? What was the point of that second button? Was it just for that? Link, what are you doing, man? Why are you shooting it that way? Well, oh, this can just completely ruin these boxes, huh? Yes, yes. I'm gonna bring this with me for no reason. I feel like there won't be any more enemies and I won't be able to use this for anything at all. But, whatever. I don't care, I want it, that's all. I just want to have it. That's a metal box, so I can just... Magnesis that, the crap over here. Which we will do. Yoink. We get an ancient core that I don't care about. And be on our way. I don't care. Just throw that right on over me. Since the last one was completely meaningless. And here we are, at the end. Alright. Got another orb down. And I, you know, chose to go to this shrine first because it's actually in a cave. That, basically, there's no reason for me to leave the cave. But, you know, so I can fast travel straight to the other one and go from there. Right, here we are at the Hiamiu Shrine. Real quick, I'm going to point out, there is in fact a Stalnox just across the way there. And clearly a Korok just outside the shrine. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, another major test of strength. Maybe we'll get lucky and get the last piece of climber's gear. I don't know what makes me think that that's what would be here either. It's just like in my head for some reason that I like, oh, I used both of these. That's upsetting. Uh, should we preemptively pause this? I guess we'll see how the fight seems to be going and then make a decision from there. Ah, well, I buggered that up. I keep, like, not doing it. Beat him! I like how they play the music for that as if, like, it was actually a puzzle. Alright, so let's see, we want the sword, I guess we want the battle axe, oh I can't carry it, anyway, well never mind, we'll take the sword then and that's all. Oh, you know what, I may as well, I may as well get a replacement, right? No reason to carry both. So we'll leave that, take this one, which should be the same, oh it's actually better anyway, well, that's pretty sweet. Alright, oh and all that wasn't too bad, let's see what... No doubt, mediocre item is in the chest. Ancient core. Eh, sapphire. I don't know that I actually... I think I do need sapphires, actually. I'm going to stop myself there. I need sapphires. I wonder why they made the final upgrade so hard to get in this game. Punch the desk sounded amazing, I'm sure. It's weird, because, like... Do they just assume that, like... I mean, I guess you don't really need the final upgrade... Like, it doesn't really get you anything that great. But yeah, I don't know. I would think that they'd want, like, you to upgrade everything to the max. Where did I get this frozen stuff from? I must have gotten it yesterday while I was out adventuring off part. So throw the warm stuff on. Come over here, do this Korok puzzle. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Oh, good for you, Rivali. Real quick, we'll just leave this right here. Did I ever say I was watching Stranger Things? I'm watching Stranger Things. I really like it. That's all. Nothing nothing really else to report. Uh, so, again, there's Koroks everywhere up here. There is one... this guy. I got him. He's up there. Also, there's a Lionel roaming around. I think he's, like, over here. But yeah, I got him because he's at the top of a mountain, and I really did not want to climb that mountain again. So I decided to just get it. 
Now, what am I still doing here? Maybe the question you're wondering. That's what I'm doing. There's a shrine here. And I can't find it. Like, we have the beeps, like it's super close. Uh, I got no idea where it is. It must be hidden somewhere, like... Underneath, maybe? Like, maybe you gotta get to a special... Thing. I'm gonna check underneath. I'm pretty sure I'll just die. Oh, you may be, maybe noticed that I'm missing my bonus hearts from sleeping. From the, uh, I think it was from a cold, you know, a special bed. You may be noticing that I'm missing that. And you would sure be right. And the reason why is because what's over here? Just something? Just look like nothing. Because he hit me once and did, like, 19 hearts of damage. Cool. I'm, I'm exaggerating, by the way. He took my health, my, my top health bar down, like, halfway. I'm not getting, like, any beeps down here. Um... No, I am. I don't know. Like, I feel like... I don't know where else it could be. Because, again, I traveled, like, far and wide up top and didn't find anything. Let me check something real quick. Ravali's Gale. Okay, Ravali's Gale is ready, so... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I looked for it a bunch last night. And never found it. So, I, like, I don't really know what to do about that. In any case, I'm just about at the end of the part. I'm going to continue looking for it. But I'm pretty... I, yeah, I, I almost feel like I won't find it. Because, I don't know, like, I, I'm almost thinking you got to do something special for it. This is, by the way, right here in, like, this little forest. There's a Stalnox, like, just chilling here. If you, for some reason, want to fight Stalnoxes... I think he's literally, like, right here in this little clearing of trees. That's where my marking is, so that makes sense. But yeah, if for whatever reason you want to fight him, he didn't drop anything outstanding. I don't know if the shrine thing works for altitude. Like, if I'm not on the same level, how, like, how is that... But, like, now it's confused. Like, it's like, I don't know where you want to be. So, like, yeah. I don't know. Alright, I'm going to call this part here. Again, I'm going to continue searching. I'm going to continue searching for it. Uh, I'm going to continue searching for it recorded, by the way, too. So, if it's here... I'll show me getting... Actually, no, no, I won't. I'll just explain it next time. Thank you very much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you like this part, please tune in for the next one, where I will hopefully have found this shrine and be able to show you how to get it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.